Okay, good afternoon everyone. My name is Barney Johnson. I'm a classical composer. And today I'm going to explain to you the things you need to do, the things you need rather, to be a composer. Now, composition is not for everyone, but it is for a lot of people. Don't think that you can't be a composer. Don't succumb to the lies prevalent in our society that say, oh, you have to be born with it, you have to be an expert. If you didn't start three years old, you can't be a composer. Lies upon lies designed to prevent you from rising to the top. On this channel, we will not believe these lies and we will not succumb to their temptation. To be a composer, or to compose rather, the first thing you need is staff paper. Okay, you need staff paper, obviously. Then you need a pencil. Okay, that's logical. I'm missing an important item. Well, I guess I'm not a composer. <laughs> Too bad. Uh, the third thing you need is an eraser, okay? You want your music to be clean. You want to be able to understand. First and foremost, it's for you so you can see your music. If you write your music and it's all scribbly and it's hard to understand, then when you're reading through it, you're not going to be hearing the music because you're going to be like, what's that, what's that? And you're going to lose the flow. So you got to make sure you have a race so you make sure that you can make your music nice. Okay, for you, first and foremost. Once you have that out the way, congratulations, that is the most elemental. Pen and paper. Never forget that. Never forget that. I will say it one more time and I will show you. You need the paper. Paper. Paper and you need a pencil. And of course the eraser, but some pencils come with erasers. If you don't have the paper, don't talk to me. Then you're operating on a different set of rules. And yes, there are ways without paper. In fact, right now, uh, because of time constraints, I'm revising my orchestra piece, uh, Help Us on the Way. At this point, it's mostly the work I'm doing is solely on computer. But this piece was conceived and built and created on the paper. Now, perhaps one day I'll write pieces completely without ever touching the paper. But for now, you need the paper, especially if you're beginning you need the paper. Do not have the arrogance, sorry, the arrogance, to think that you don't need the paper. You need the paper. You need the paper.